Thank you so much for this opportunity. And today I want to talk about a very controversial topic on single parenthood. It's a, it's a topic that many shy away from. And it's mostly because it's surrounded by stigma, especially in our African society. And you and especially single motherhood has a, has has more stigma as compared to single fatherhood. But today, more and more, it's a reality that more and more people are finding themselves in single-led households, including teenagers you know, who experience early teenage pregnancies. And today, I would like to look at the bright side by examining some of the advantages of single parenthood. Yes, I am actually looking at advantages of single parenthood. I know, very controversial. Um, I like to think that uh, in when children are in single parenthood or in single-led uh, households, they get undivided attention because one parent is giving is giving each child attention as opposed to when parents are in in a traditional family setup where sometimes a parent feels like they don't have to put in their best because the other parent will definitely jump in for them another one is the freedom to make decisions we know families where people have grown up and parents are fighting about decisions concerning the child. And when you're a single parent, you tend to make decisions by yourself. So you want, so you, 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 anything concerning your child, you are the sole decision maker for them. Then in some cases, single parents can actually be very good role models. We have seen cases where children are growing up in very, very harsh environments where parents keep fighting, where there's a lot of abuse. But because you're in a single-led household, children don't necessarily have to look at parents having a lot of arguments. And this brings, a lot of, uh, this brings about a lot of peace and a stress-free environment for the kids. Uh, there's also the aspect of independence and responsibility where children become team members. You know, as a parent in, um, in a single-led household, because you can't do everything, you tend to assign responsibilities to your children. And give, this brings about an aspect of independence and responsibility in their lives. There's also a sense of belonging whereby you see a lot of single parents depending on the society to help raise their kids. You know, you're depending on your, on your friends, on your family members. You're depending on uncles and aunties to be mother figures, to be father figures. And I think uh, this, this brings about single um, children brought about in single parenthood uh, societies wanting to around themselves with people. There's also the aspect of being close to your, uh, to, to your child. You want to know everything that is happening to your child in your child's life, and this draws you closer to your children. Like I said, this is a very controversial topic, but today I just wanted to say that uh, single parenthood does not have to be stigmatized. There are actually advantages to be a single parent, and it's okay to be a single parent. Any thoughts? with you and, yeah, sure. <laughs> and by the way i don't think you're advocating for single i think you're advocating for making the best of your single parenthood i'm sure you're not advocating for exactly. people exactly. you know getting married and then <laughs> going <laughs> away so, to yeah, be a single, single parent because that's a better <laughs> idea no. Than having, uh, no just kidding yeah. yeah so i mean i totally agree with you and that's basically make lemonades of your lemons ah, right? yeah, exactly. and we've heard stories of loads of loads of people motivational speakers you know world business leaders that grow up with just their mothers you know mostly more often than not is you know mothers and they got very good training, you know. So um, I agree that um, if that's what you have, you can make the best of it. And there's always, you know, a uh, silver lining in every situation that you are. Um, on the flip side of it, I actually have, I believe very strongly that it's better to be a single parent than to be in an abusive relationship, exactly. you know. So uh, what has been stigmatized is, you know, oh, so you're going to go and raise your child by yourself. I mean, you know, in the, in the meantime, discouraging the woman, more often than not, from walking away from abuse. You know, I think that, you or know, the man. or the man <laughs> in some cases, yeah, walking away from abuse. But I believe very strongly that people should be encouraged, you know, to walk away from abuse and then try and raise their children by themselves.
Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah, so, 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 so yeah. it was controversial because she, it was like she was defending <laughs> Singh Prayer too. Yeah, yeah. But you have clarified, and I think that's what she actually meant. Yeah. But, but the thing is about parenting is that we should always be intentional about parenting, yeah, whether yeah. you're single or you're or double. double. <laughs> but the thing is, two, heads, good, two good heads are always better than one. So, I mean, so it's not about staying married, really. It's better for the two good heads to take care of a child than one good head. Yeah. But if you not find yourself being the one good head, whether the mm -hmm. male or the female, because yeah. sometimes it happens the other way around where it's the guy who mm. is a single parent. Yeah. Just make the best of it because... Ultimately, at the end of time, you're going to be held responsible for your child, whether it turns mm. out right or not. You're going to be the one losing sleep, going to church every day, going to the mosque every day to pray for the child to be fine. So you have to be intentional about your parenting, whether you're single or you're not single. I think that's what this whole, this whole thing suffices. And you're trying to say also that there's hope for parents who are single and taking care of children. So I think that was a good one, and thank you so much for that. Well, um, actually... In our society, it's, the pressure is more on the single girls. Let me use that language. Because Slow if on. a girl becomes pregnant and she is not yet married, it's natural in our society. They will put pressure on her family. We say, ah, ah, how come you are pregnant? Where's the man? And all those things. Even if she knows that she's in a toxic relationship with the man or the boy, wherever, in the name of saving her face, and the shame she of the family. Remain. She will, she will prefer to go into that to marriage, remain there. and she, she will suffer. So it's, it's okay if you are sure and you know in your hearts of hearts that um, that relationship is toxic. It's better you count your losses and then take care of your child and yourself, exactly. and keep a be sane mindset and be responsible as a parent. Whether you are married or, or you are or, or married. You, you should, if you are married and you have children, you should be intentional about parenting. If you are single and you're not married and you have a child or children, you should also be intentional about be being intent. a responsible, be responsible parent to your children. Absolutely. Uh, life coach wants to say something. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Everybody has said really <laughs> yeah. interesting points. And it's really about just removing that stigmatization. And it's not even just about single parenting, like Anne has said. There are a lot of things that, you know, the Nigerian culture, you know, our, our, the way we process things, we put a lot of stigma and a lot of things. And this whole stigma, you know, drives people to make the wrong decisions. Or like um, um, Jilla said, oh, should I go and look for a man to attach myself with so I don't appear stigmatized? So I think let's begin to, you know, talk more, right? Um, if you have any single person in your corner, support them. I have one in my corner and I'm always supporting, oh, going, nice. checking up, oh, nice. has the baby doing this. I'm always supporting because I know that, yeah. I know that they can feel, oh, they've left me, everybody has left me, they've left me. You know, the way I support my baby to just marry her, you know. Even religiously speaking, like um, um, Tolu said in the previous banter, you know, even um, church leaders, the, 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 the mocks, you know, we all have a role to play and not saying, oh, um, because oh, you're now, see. you're, you're, I mean, you know, paint all manner of scriptures and all those things. Support people, love people, and it's very important that we remove that stigma. That helps that person to really deal with that yeah. process, you know, Absolutely. and turn out really right. Absolutely. I think it's the stigma that kills them, yeah. not the single parent. I, 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 exactly. So is that thing where, I mean, in closing, is that thing where once the foundation is, is, yeah. is shaky, there's a problem. If the reason why you're married a man is because you're pregnant for him or you have a child for him, the premise is already wrong. Yeah. So there, there's a strong, you know, possibility that you might, you know, struggle with, um, with the marriage in itself. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Juliet is coming up next with a very interesting topic. Please stay tuned.